Aristotle was the first to record any observations on marine life. Thus, he is most commonly referred to as the father of marine biology. He's identified a variety of species, including crustaceans, echinoderms, mollusks, and fish. He also recognized that cetaceans, such as orcas, whales, and dolphins, are mammals, and that vertebrates are either oviparous, which means that they produce eggs that hatch outside of their body, or viviparous, which means that they produce eggs that hatch inside of their body. A couple hundred years after Aristotle's time, Pliny the Elder discovered that some marine organisms have medical uses. Captain James Cook is best well known for mapping much of the world's uncharted waters. He also circumnavigated the world twice in his lifetime and logged descriptions of numerous plants and animals that were unknown to most of mankind. Charles Darwin, a naturalist, sailed aboard the HMS Beagle in 1831. He collected and analyzed thousands of new marine species. He developed a theory of coral reef development and completed a detailed study of barnacles. The HMS Challenger Expedition was a three-year voyage led by Sir Charles Wyville Thompson that cataloged 4,700 new species and filled 50 volumes of scientific reports and also helped to prove that life could exist below 1,800 feet in the ocean. The Challenger was equipped with research facilities to accommodate deep-sea investigations. Victor Henson coined the term plankton to describe things that float or drift in the ocean. Alexander Agassiz collected thousands of marine specimens and studied coral reef formation and coloration in marine animals. Marine laboratories were first constructed to begin long-term studies of marine organisms. The first ever laboratory was in Naples, Italy in 1872. The first in the U.S. was in Woods Hole, Massachusetts in 1873. World War II led to the development of sonar, which enabled scientists to hear the ocean for the first time. Sir Alistair Hardy led expeditions to the Antarctic Ocean to study whales. Jacques Cousteau, who is one of the most renowned marine biologists in the century, invented SCUBA, which stands for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus, so that divers could breathe compressed air underwater. Today, scientists use research ships, deep sea submersibles, ROVs, which stands for Remote Operated Vehicles, AOVs, which stands for Autonomous Operated Vehicle, data buoys, and critter camps to conduct their research.